Hey man, I think our last ever performance calls for a little celebration. You guys want to stay and knock back a couple? It's on the house. You can count me in. Hey fellas. Just wanted to say that my wife and I really loved your guys' show. Yes, it was just incredible. Well, thank you both. We appreciate it. You bet. How about you, Jair? Are you down? Sure. Let me go tell my girls that I'm gonna be staying a little longer. I'll be back. Are you sure you'll be okay, Jerry? I'll be fine. Anyway, if we need to, we'll have Alan, Salud's very own designated driver, take us home. Is that a drink I see in his hand? Don't worry, Kate. That's just a Shirley Temple. It's all he drinks when he's here. Okay. Well, don't stay too late then. I'll see you when I get home, honey. Bye, Dad. Once again, you guys rocked. Yes, we did, didn't we? Okay, fellas, I'd like to do one final toast. To pennies and earwax. To good times and great music. To all the people who showed us love in our performances. Here, here. Well, we should definitely do this again soon. What's that? You want us to put on another farewell performance? No, not another performance. We just played the best show of our lives tonight. And we'll never be able to top that. What I mean is, we should get together like this more often. Can either of you remember the last time the three of us were together like this? Not counting the past week. The last time I remember was Heather's kindergarten promotion. So that would be about what? Nine years? That's right. See, and that's way too long. I agree, way too long. You know, even after we all kind of drifted, I still considered you two to be the closest friends I ever had. I'd always remember all that crazy stuff we'd get into, when we weren't rehearsing or performing. Right. I still never told my family about half the things we used to do. And it's probably better they don't know. I can just imagine Kate. Jerry. You guys been what? Although, I believe Jessica would probably find our old misadventures to be insanely cool. Haha, ha. we were some crazy mofos back then weren't we? Yes we were. And if I could do it all over again, I would in a heartbeat. I'll drink to that. Well fellas, I hate to be the party pooper. But I should probably call it a night. Don't wanna get home too late. I think I'll be doing the same. We're supposed to be heading to Sacramento tomorrow. Visiting the in-laws again? It's Lisa's mother's 65th birthday. Haha. <laughs> well try not to have too much fun. I'll keep that in mind. Well it's been a great night boys. I'm gonna help Bill and Simon close up now. Hey, Alan. You rang Steve? Yes, Jerry and Frank are ready to split. No problem. Alright gentlemen. Your chariot awaits. We appreciate it Alan. Steven. A little help over here. What is it? Bob is passed out drunk on the floor. Good lord, not again. Need any help Steve? Now nah, we got this. You guys go on home. I'll see you later. Take care Steve. You too. I swear. Every week it's the same damn thing. Bob. Bob, wake up. We're closing for the night. I'm the way you make it. You can drop me off first, Alan. I live just on Tucan Street. No problemo, Frankie. And where are you located again, Jerry? I live over on. You didn't really think this was over, did you, Andrews? Sucker punching someone. Are you kidding me? That was for humiliating me in front of all those people. And for getting me kicked out. Yeah. You disrupted the show. You're the one who got yourself thrown out. Don't blame me for your childish behavior. Oh, I'm childish? Well I'm not the one trying to relive the past by getting my crappy high school band back together. Want me to pop this guy in the mouth for you Jerry? 
Oh how I would love to see you try. No forget it Frank. There's no need to escalate this. Let's go. Ha 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 ha. Getting soft in your old age huh? I remember when you would have come at me swinging. Yeah, well we're not in high school anymore. I learned this thing called being the bigger person. Which is something you should have learned 20 years ago. I'm done with you. Have a nice life. Hey Andrews. Your wife Katie, she's one sexy little minx. What did you just say? You heard me. Oh, and here's something I didn't tell you. She was making eyes at me, all night. I think she kinda likes me. Jerry's just trying to bait you. Yeah, don't fall for it. That's what he wants. That's my wife, he was talking about. Frank, how would you feel if someone said that about Lisa? Or Alan, what if someone said that about Caitlin? I'm not letting this one slide. I think I better go get Steve.